Good morning, friends. Greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment to moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about formulations, ingredients, something you may have heard about, read about, the longevity products, skin health questions, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. We want to be your go-to source for all things health and nutrition. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products that you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please go to my websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. Got news stories, blog posts, as well as all the longevity products up. And of course, if you want to sign up to join the Brightside Ben team and help me in my mission to educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program, if you want to start yourself a business, if you're entrepreneurially minded, if if you're a business person, you want to start a business without having to invest in inventory or infrastructure or pay for employees or social security taxes, but you still want to enjoy all the benefits, including tax benefits, of having your own business, all for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business. Please sign up off the websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. They can tell you all about it. Also want to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, Truth Treatments, that's plural, truthtreatments.com. Our retinol 5% gel is made with retinol, 5% retinol, as well as vitamin C and a big dose of premium fat-soluble vitamin C in our transdermal delivery matrix to facilitate the movement of the active ingredients through or across the stratum cornea, the surface of the skin into the lower levels where all the action is into the dermis. That's where, that's where active ingredients have to be if they're going to do their business. Our transdermal delivery matrix facilitates the movements of active, the movement of active materials into the lower levels of the skin. And our Truth Retinol 5% gel is only made with retinol, vitamin C, and our transdermal delivery matrix. You'll never get any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, wax, water, silicon, oil, propylene, glycol, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. TruthTreatments.com, TruthTreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to the Bright Side, friends. We are talking about the connective tissue. We're talking about estrogen, the hormone estrogen, the very misunderstood hormone, actually family of hormones. Estrogen, as we said, is not a hormone. It's a family of hormones. Many chemicals found in nature and artificially synthesized look like estrogen. They have the shape of estrogen. Estrogen is a, has been called the female hormone, but I don't like saying that. It is not just a female hormone. Men make estrogen, as we said yesterday, and it's involved in much more than just female reproduction and female sexuality. The philosopher Gregory Bateson, one of my all-time favorite philosophers, said that all the problems in the world are the, quote, result of the difference between how nature works and the way people think, unquote. 
In other words, there's a disconnect between how things really are and what we think about them. And when Bateson was saying this, he was referring to the world in general. He's referring to social problems and psychological problems, perhaps. But we can apply this idea to health or our lack of health. Quote, the res- uh, all the problems in the world, quote, are the result of the difference between how nature works and how we think or how the way people think, unquote. Degenerative diseases are rampant, basically epidemic. We live in this physically sick culture where degenerative diseases are an epidemic. Medical interventions are failed, and that includes surgeries and drugs and diagnostics, not to mention the cost of all of these interventions, which measures in the trillions. And the reason for this utter and complete failure of our so-called healthcare system, so-called healthcare system, which is not a healthcare system at all, at best, it's a disease management system. Do you know that healthcare is the third leading cause of death after die after cancer and heart disease? Can you imagine this? We have a healthcare system that is a leading cause of death, and the reason for this is because we don't understand how our bodies work. Our ignorance of how our bodies work is the cause of this epidemic, this epic crisis in healthcare. We, don't, uh, we have a non-understanding of how our bodies work at the most fundamental level, that is, the level of the cell. And when I say lack of understanding of how our bodies work, when I say lack of understanding of the cell and lack of understanding of our health at the fundamental levels, I'm not just talking about us as lay people. Certainly, we are partially, at least partially culpable, if not more. What I'm talking about is the medical model, which is just as idiotic as lay people. And it's arrogant to boot. And I'm not talking about individual doctors. I'm talking about the model. I'm not saying individual doctors are arrogant and idiotic, although some of them certainly may be. I'm talking about the medical model itself that is so self-congratulatory and egotistical that it doesn't realize for all its supposed brilliance that it is presiding over the most epic health crisis in the history of mankind. I was watching a a commercial yesterday on on TV that just exemplified the stupidity of how we treat our bodies and how we treat so-called diseases and how we take care of our health. It was a drug called Repatha. Let me be clear here. I'm a pharmacist. I've been studying drugs now for 35 years. I went to pharmacy school in the 1980s, and I've been working and studying with drugs since. And I'm telling you, as a pharmacist, you cannot take drugs and be better off for it, period. Now, if you're in agony and pain, certainly there's a, there's a place for pain pills. I'm, I understand this. If you have an infection, there's a place for antibiotics. I understand this as well. If you've been mucking up your, your body for so long and now you've got cancer, there may be a place for chemotherapy, perhaps. Maybe not, but perhaps. I, I have my doubts about that as well. But the idea that we can take a cholesterol-lowering drug and be better off for it, or we can take a diabetes drug and be better off for it, or we can take a steroid drug and be better off for it is idiotic with a capital I. And likewise with surgical procedures that are elective and so-called routine. So anyway, this commercial yesterday was for a drug called Repatha. Repatha is this incredibly expensive drug that now you have to inject. And what does it do? It helps your statins work. It helps stat- as if statins are some kind of panacea for heart disease. Now you've got another drug called Repatha that helps statins work. This drug, it reduces LDL cholesterol dramatically. As if uh, t- completely taking for granted that somehow lowering your LDL cholesterol is a good thing. Now, if you bought the, bought the medical model's baloney, crapola, if you drank in the Kool-Aid about lowering your LDL cholesterol, you probably think this is a good thing. It is not. Your LDL cholesterol is incredibly important. Your cholesterol is incredibly important. Your HDL cholesterol is incredibly important. Everything your body makes as part of its normal course of biochemical, machine, biochemical manufacturing is important. And you cannot lower and reduce and inhibit and suppress these substances without paying a price. Anyway, so this idiotic drug, Repatha, which lowers LDL cholesterol and is incredibly expensive, is being advertised now as a booster for statin drugs if your statin drugs aren't working well enough. All right, I'm going to finish this up when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll return after this.
the Bright Side. Pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you, and we will get you your calls in our next segment, as we always do on the Bright Side. Love talking to my smart listeners. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, if you're on a prescription drug and you'd like to wean yourself off and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. Of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share, we love hearing those. Or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase all the longevity products off our websites, and you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team. If you like what you hear on this program, if you want to help spread the word about how powerful and important a good nutritional supplement program can be, if you want to make a little extra money but you don't want a regular job, if you want to um, earn money by helping people rather than just by selling them hamburgers, if you want to make a difference in people's lives, if you're health-minded yourself, this is a business that you want to know about. Call 866-735-2470 if you have questions, or you can sign up right off of brightsideben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. And pharmacistben.com. We also have a search engine at brightsideben.com. Also want to remind you about our Truth Skin Health products, all available at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so Repatha, I was watching this commercial yesterday for Repatha, lowers LDL cholesterol. Is they just take for granted that lowering LDL cholesterol or lowering cl- cholesterol is somehow a good thing and somehow the way you take care of heart disease. The, the meme has been put in place. Now nobody's bothering to convince us anymore that lowering cholesterol equals healthy hearts. Now it's just assumed that lowering cholesterol has a healthy heart, so you can pay $14,000 a year for your Repatha to boost your statin drug. Not to, not, not to act like your statin drug, but to improve the effects of your statin drug, and you can inject yourself with this stuff, this, uh, this Repatha drug. This stuff is rude, nasty, mean-spirited, and it has nothing to do with being better or healthier, period. No drugs, no long-term chronic drugs do. To this day, most people, including doctors, believe that cholesterol causes heart disease and anything we can do to lower cholesterol levels in the blood means uh, we'll be better off even if it means poisoning the body even if it means poisoning the body it's somehow a good thing drugs poison the body period end of story if your doctor is dispensing you a poison to make you healthier He's not your friend, even if he's kind and nice, and many of them are. It is not a friendly thing to do to poison a patient. Now, antibiotics, as I say, are sometimes necessary, and pain pills, certainly, if you're in pain, there's a reason. Morphine's a good thing. There's a good, you know, there are some good, there are some benefits to using drugs if you need them in an emergency, but not the long-term chronic drugs like cholesterol-lowering drugs. Cholesterol is the most functional Take this to the bank, folks. Cholesterol is the most functional and important molecule in the body. Multifunctional, I should say. It's involved in so many different factors, so many different reasons why cholesterol is important. Only a biochemical bonehead medical professional would think that poisoning the cholesterol-making machinery is a good thing. And there's zero connection to being healthier and lowering your cholesterol levels with a drug. And by the way, if your cholesterol levels are high, it has to do with the same things that causes all health challenges, the wrong food, nutritional deficiencies, and bad living. And the same kind of medical nonsense about cholesterol surrounds our understanding of hormones, which is what we've been talking about and what we'll continue to talk about. Hormones, I said cholesterol is the most important and multifunctional and potent chemical in the body. Well, hormones are right up there as well, and hormones, the steroid hormones anyway, are derived from cholesterol. Hormones are extremely active molecules. When we get older, as the effects of our crappy living, I I mean, I'm just going to call a spade a spade here, effects of how we live our lives, bad food, poor nutrition, stress levels, and make no mistake about it, emotional stress, psychological stress, in addition to physiologic stress, underlies all health challenges. And there's no drugs that can help you with physiologic stress. Oh, not only are there no drugs that can help you with physiologic stress, drugs add to physiologic stress. How imp- can you imagine this? All health challenges have at their basis some kind of physiologic stress, and drugs add to that physiologic stress. Drugs never, ever, 
ever reduce physiologic stress. They only add to it. So as we get older, and as the effects of our lifestyle kick in, nutritional deficiencies, stress levels, hormone levels drop. This is just a natural thing. It's a price we pay for how we live our lives. And an intelligent response, a non-doctor intelligent response to this decline is to make the body strong. If your hormone levels are dropping, if your estrogen levels, your testosterone levels, your steroid hormone levels are dropping, then the intelligent response is to make the body strong, to nutrient the body, to remove toxicity, and that includes sugar, to reduce psychological and emotional stress. Oh, what's the medical response? To stick more hormones in the body in the form of drugs. And because these chemicals are so important and so, uh, are so powerful, you may upregulate certain things with your estrogen or your testosterone, but you run the risks, high, much higher risks of diseases, especially blood diseases, heart diseases, and especially cancer. And this misunderstanding of how our hormones work is exemplified by the estrogens. And I say the estrogens because the estrogens, even though your doctor thinks it's estrogen, it's the estrogens. It's a family. And if you've been listening to this program for the last few weeks, you know that there's no one thing called estrogen. It's a family of compounds. And many of these estrogen children in the family, the estrogen family, are deadly, toxic, pro-inflammatory, and responsible for all kinds of health issues, including blood clotting, including inflammation, including autoimmunity, and yes, including cancer. In fact, lowering estrogen levels or levels of some of the estrogens, or at least balancing some of these estrogens, is way more important for health than arbitrarily jacking them up, by, than arbitrarily taking an estrogen pill. Estrogens float around in the blood in picogram levels. That's P-I-C-O, picogram levels, which is a trillion times smaller than a gram. That's not even, you know, these numbers are so mind-boggling. Can you imagine this? A, a gram and then divide it by a trillion times. And that's how much estrogen is floating in your body, trillionths of a gram. Yet when we're dosed with estrogen, when we go get our estrogen cream or our estrogen trochies or our estrogen pills, we're getting thousands of times that amount put into our body. And we're not even getting, because estrogen, there's so many different estrogens, we're not even getting the right kind. We're getting so-called natural or, or bioidentical. We're getting two or three of the many different estrogens in the body. And how they're balanced, these two or three, is just a guess. Nobody knows how much of each you need. And, and, and the amount, the balance of each of these things in, in their natural state in the body fluctuates with environment, fluctuates with food, fluctuates with nutrition, fluctuates with our thoughts. And yet, we are perfectly comfortable, and our doctors are perfectly comfortable dispensing some arbitrary ratio or proportion of these incredibly potent, incredibly potentially anyway, dangerous substances, sticking them right into our, into our blood through, through, uh, through the digestive system or through the skin. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. are back on the bright side. Thanks for being here, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about estrogen or aromatase inhibitors or hormone replacement therapy, anything we're speaking about here today, if you have a success story you'd like to share, questions about medications, formulations, ingredients, something you may have heard about, read about in the newspaper, on the internet, we are here for you. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. I have dedicated my personal and professional life to helping people understand how their bodies work, to helping people understand how drugs work, how nutrition works, and how simple it can be to be healthy. It's not necessary to go to a doctor to be healthy. The, uh, unless you have some kind of trauma, and make no mistake about it, heroic medicine, the medicine of trauma repair is miraculous. It is mind-blowing what they can stitch back onto the body. It is absolutely mind-blowing how the body can be repaired through surgical interventions. And I have no problem with what is called heroic medicine. It's awesome. It's miraculous. My problem is when they take all that goodwill that's generated by repairing broken bones for, and stitching fingers and toes and limbs back on the body, 
and creating prosthetics and all of the amazing miracles of modern medicine. My problem is, is when they try to apply all that goodwill to chronic degenerative health challenges that are none of the doctor's business, none, Zippo. It's all about us. It's all about the choices we make. Health is so simple when it comes to dealing with the chronic degenerative illnesses that cause so much misery. Feed the body, breathe the body, love the body, remove toxicity from the body and that includes sugar, eat less food, get on a rebounder, get on a supplement program. There's so many wonderful ways that we can feel better and stronger and really at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. It's not about lowering our numbers or raising our test scores, it's about feeling better. I get questions every day and I talk to people every day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, I am talking to patients. I'm talking to people who are dealing with health challenges and one of the most <laughs> horrible things I hear, one of the most horrific things I hear, of course, is about cancer. What do I do? I got, I got diagnosed with cancer. My mother got diagnosed with cancer. My wife has cancer. If you are diagnosed with cancer, it exemplifies, how you deal with cancer exemplifies how we deal with the body. The mission of a cancer patient or someone taking care of a cancer patient is not to eliminate the cancer. It's to help the body feel better and stronger, to help the patient feel better and stronger. God, the divine force, the physical body, that'll take care of the cancer. Whatever you want to call it, I call it the divine force. That will take care of the cancer. Our mission, if we have cancer or any other health challenge, is to help the body feel stronger and better, to have more energy, to be able to think more clearly and creatively, to be able to bound out of bed, to be able to touch our toes, to be able to move without pain. And no, there's nothing a doctor can do when it comes to these kinds of markers. We've been led to believe that the markers of health are our test scores. We've been led to believe that the markers of health are our diagnostics. As a, a wise man once said, if all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. And because all the doctors have is hammers, they make everything look like a nail. Oh, we're going to test your cholesterol levels. We're going to test your blood sugar levels. We're going to test your TSH and your bone mineral density. And then we'll, we'll give you drugs to raise your bone mineral density and your TSH. Forget whether you feel better. Forget whether you're stronger. Forget whether you have more energy. Forget whether you're happier. We're just going to raise your TSH or lower your or, or, or lower your cholesterol scores. It's a nasty trick. It's a dirty trick to try to tell us that we're healthier because of our TSH or our bone mineral density, even though we feel like crap. All right, I'm off my high horse here. A couple of stories here, and then we'll get to your phone calls. We're going to talk about this one mineral uh, tomorrow or maybe the next day because I absolutely love it and you don't hear anybody talk about it. It's called boron, B-O-R-O-N. It's an essential nutrient. It is a, a, a mineral and it's a very fundamental mineral. If you look on your periodic table, it's at the very top or near the very top. I think it's number five on the uh, uh, periodic table. It's a super important mineral that nobody talks about, but it's got extreme, extreme importance when it comes to uh, uh, women dealing with menopause because it acts like estrogen. In fact, boron deficiency may be behind so-called uh, deficiencies in estrogen or estrogen response. If you are dealing with menopausal issues or perimenopausal issues, get on boron. This is an article from the journal Environmental Health Perspectives. Boron deprivation experiments have, uh, with humans have yielded persuasive findings for the hypothesis that boron is an essential nutrient. Boron supplementation was involved in supporting estrogen metabolism, uh, estrogen therapy, according to this article, estrogen therapy uh, was shown to be beneficial or improve benefits for estrogen therapy by folks ingesting boron. This is from uh, the journal Environmental Health Perspectives. From the Journal of Physiology, never too late, reaping the benefits of exercise in early post-menopause. You guys, exercise, and by exercise, I'm not talking about going to the gym. I'm just talking about putting some stress in your body, some physiologic stress in your body. It is one of the most important, if not the most important things you could do to improve health. When you exercise, not only do you grow muscle, not only do you stimulate the production of muscle, muscle tissue, and, and connective tissue, but you also improve oxygenation to the cells. And remember, one of the the fundamental way cells break down is from lack of oxygen. To improve oxygenation of cells, as well as nutrient delivery for that matter, because you're improving blood supply, get on a rebounder. Walk up the stairs. Stand up from a sitting position slowly. Carry books up the stairs. Uh, walk briskly or even run rather than taking a walk to the store. 
anything you can do to put a stress on the body, a, a minor stress on the body in terms of its physiology is going to improve your health. From uh, the frontiers in behavioral neuroscience, dietary prebiotics improve sleep, buffer impacts of stress, say study. And this is a study from the University of Colorado at Boulder. It turns out that not only are probiotics, we, all, we always talk about probiotics in this program, not only are probiotics important, but so are prebiotics. Prebiotics help feed the probiotics, and one of the all-time great prebiotics is plain old fiber. And this is one of the reasons why I'm so big on drinking vegetable juices and why I'm so big on fermented vegetables as opposed to kefir or yogurt, which are fermented dairy products, of course. Fermented vegetables not only give you the fermentation, the, the bacteria from the fermentation, they also give you the fiber which acts to feed the bacteria. Grind up flax seeds, drink them down. Two or three tablespoons of flax seeds is, acts as a great prebiotic. Take your flaxseed liquid, or if you put it in almond milk, you make a nice flaxseed pudding, and chia seeds also make a good pudding for that matter, and, and have prebiotic potential. Do your probiotics, do your, your nightly essence with your prebiotic pudding, with your fiber pudding or with your fiber drink, and it will help support the activity and the health of your good bacteria, which you're getting from your nightly essence or from your fermented fiber uh, if you're doing sauerkraut or fermented beets or fermented carrots or fermented vegetables or even for, from your uh, non-fermented vegetable juices. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's move to Jason in Texas. Good morning, Jason. How you doing, buddy? Jason? Yes, How are you doing? Hi, Jason. How's it going, man? How can I help you? Um, okay. Um, uh, ben, I've had uh, uh, perine, uh, my perianal area removed. You've had your perianal, perianal uh, what, what, I'm not sure what you mean with, by removed, yeah. but we yeah, got to take a break. We got the, we got a commercial break here, so yeah. hang on, Jason. I'm gonna, I hate to do this to you, but we'll get you when we come back. All right, we got to take a commercial. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back with more good health information and your phone calls right after this. Don't go away. Okay, we are back on the bright side. Pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number from the journal Cell, February 23rd, Fasting Mimicking Diet Reverses Diabetes. How do you like that? A diet designed to imitate the effects of fasting appears to reverse diabetes by reprogramming cells. This is what I'm talking about, folks. How many of you guys are on anti-diabetic medication? How many people have diabetes? Diabetes is the uh, second or third, fourth, I think the fourth leading cause of death, somewhere in there, and a, a cause of untold misery. Fasting, mimicking diet, reverses diabetes. Oh, where have you heard that before? This is how simple health can be, folks. 844-236-6010 is our number. Jason in Texas. Um, I wasn't quite understanding, Jason. Uh, you yeah. said you, the perianal area is an area around the anus, but I'm not sure what you mean by removed. Yeah. You, had, you had a cyst removed or an abscess or something? I, I had the whole perianal and perianal area mo removed, and then all the stitching broke open, and the doctor said, well, you just have to rest, and your body has to fill it in itself. Well, yeah, but you can accelerate the healing. There's a couple things you're going to want to do. First of all, I'm not sure why you had to remove it, removed, but, uh, the whole area removed. You that must have some kind of cortisol damage. I talked to you about three months ago. Cortisol damage, and um, the only thing, Ben, I'm 58. It, it, you know, it's the, the skin, but more importantly, I think the nerves. Uh, DHCA, uh, I know you mentioned pregnenolone for women, DHCAA is the only thing that works. And I, I I'm not sure. Also Jason, listen, bro, I want to help you, but I'm not sure what, what we're dealing with here. If you want to accelerate the healing of the tissue, and I think that's what you're asking me, go get some zinc oxide paste, number one, or, yeah. or get my omega-6 healing cream, or both, and apply both and keep yeah. them on that area topically. You don't want to move around. Your doctor's right. You want to just kind of sit still because that area, every time you walk, that area is going to be, is, yeah. is going to affect that area. and You're not going to be able to heal. So you got to stay still and you got to probably be laying down. Yeah. Applying those topically will help. Go get some vitamin E. Vitamin E is one of the all-time great healing vitamins. Usually I don't 
suggest using vitamins this way, but I've seen so many incredible benefits for healing with using vitamin A, high doses of vitamin A, 800 to 1200 IU a day, maybe for a week or so. And this is true for burns, or if you pop a zit, or if you have some kind of abrasion, and also in your case for this kind of surgical procedure you had, high doses of vitamin E. Now, it, the doctors will tell you it'll thin your blood, and it may have a little blood thinning effect, but that's a good thing in the sense you'll get more nutrition to the cells and more detoxification. Uh, I yeah. wouldn't I wouldn't be using pregnenolone or DHA to heal, but they're good for you anyway at the age of 58, maybe 10 or 20 milligrams of DHEA a day. And then uh, for relaxation, pregnenolone, maybe 100 milligrams a day. Most importantly, though, you've got to do everything we all have to do in terms of keeping your sugar intake down, keeping your calories down, make sure you're getting more protein. I'd be using bone broth protein. I would be using bone yeah. broth. I would be using anything with cartilage, anything with the polysaccharide that we've talked about before, like algae or aloe or noni yeah. or mushrooms. All of these contain raw materials for helping you build tissue. And remember, you can't build any of the tissue, even if you have the raw materials, without vitamin C. So making sure that you're using your Beyond Tangy Tangerine and getting enough vitamin C. Last but not least, yeah. you want to make sure your stools when you go to the bathroom, that they're nice and, and, and it's nice and soft, so you're not pushing or you're not straining. So any kind of, con and you may already have a history of constipation, that might have caused the problem in the first place. So anything that causes constipation, you gotta be very careful of. And then you maybe wanna start using a little bit of fiber every day, as we talked about earlier, my uh, flaxseed pudding, grinding up flax seeds, uh, and then putting yeah. it into almond milk or, or water, using vegetable fiber. Magnesium can also help you, maybe a thousand milligrams a day of magnesium. You gotta have your stools nice and soft so you're not pushing uh, and, and it's not uh, causing that area to become more tender, more soft, or uh, slowing down the healing process. Uh, what do you think of hyperbaric oxygen treatment? That, that's great. And there's also topical oxygen that they can apply, uh, uh, oxygen creams and oxygen ointments, uh, ozone ointments, that kind of thing. Yes, I, I'm a big believer in hyperbaric oxygen. Jason, i got to motivate. Good luck with everything. I hope everything works out okay. for you, brother. Take care, man. Bye-bye. Uh, all right, uh, let's move on to Kelly in Texas, who's been holding on for quite a while here. Hi, t hi, Kelly. Good morning. Hi, good morning. How What's are you going today? On? I'm good. What's going um, on today? <laughs> good. Um, I have a sweet little friend who says she has histamine buildup, and she's gone. And I know what you're going to say, but I need her <laughs> to hear it. Okay. Um, she uh, has gone to a few different allergy doctors, and they test her, and so she has no allergies. But, but she, she has allergies. This, That's the stupidity yeah, of testing. Right. That's why testing doesn't work. I don't, I don't. What do you want? You want to support your doctor? If you love your doctor so much, you want to pay his mortgage for him. Go do your allergy testing. But if you don't, if you want to get better, you don't need an allergy test. Eat a food and see how you feel. Histamine is an allergic me mediator. It's also found in some foods, by the way. Uh, so the, the way you deal with allergies, allergic reactions, and histamine is you s eliminate what's causing it. If you're not sure what's causing it, then you do a food uh, a, a fast, and then a food food diary slash elimination diet. You eat a food and see how you feel. That's basically what you do. Now, if you have mold allergies or pollen allergies, you're not going to be able to address those as well, but you can use natural antihistamines, particularly vitamin C, and also bioflavonoids, which are uh, found in foods that contain vitamin C. Vitamin C and bioflavonoids work together. Every once in a while, you hear somebody talking about how vitamin C is not really vitamin C and uh, how synthetic vitamin C is a problem, and it really is not a problem. It's really very important stuff. Stuff, but their point is, is that bioflavonoids and other factors are found in nature with vitamin C, so that vitamin C itself is kind of a complex molecule that encompasses much more than just the vitamin. And that is true. The bioflavonoids help the vitamin C work. Substances, and we've talked about, we talked about this yesterday, actually. Uh, quercetin is one of the, one of the all-time great bioflavonoids that helps vitamin C work. And um, in my Bergamax product, which you'll, you can find at Brightside Health, we have uh, other bioflavonoids. And there's hundreds of different bioflavonoid compounds. Those all have anti natural antihistamine properties too. So using vitamin C with bioflavonoids, and you can buy them as a supplement that way, or just using vitamin C containing foods, can also act as natural antihistamines. Uh, but the, the best thing you can do is remove any foods that stimulate the production of histamine or other allergic mediators. It turns out, by the way, that there's different types of histamine in the body, and some histamines are important, but we're not going to get into that. Um, just basically what you want to do is eliminate any food 
foods, anything that gets into her system that stimulates an allergic reaction, and she'll know she has an allergic reaction by doing a pulse test. I haven't talked about this, but I, I've been meaning to. Uh, if, you take your pul- if you take your finger and take a pulse, you'll notice that when histamine is released, when you have an allergic response to foods, your pulse will race, and it will take about 10 minutes or so after you eat a food. So doing a pulse test is just as good, if not better, than the skin pr- prick tests or the blood tests that they do uh, uh, at the doctor's office or at the allergist's office. Uh, do your own pulse test. Eat a food and watch for your pulse racing. When your pulse races, that's a food that is stimulating an allergic response, histamine being an allergic mediator. So eliminating problem foods, supporting the digestive system is also helpful, using probiotics and fiber, all the things we talk about, as well as using vitamin C and, uh, and also bioflavonoids with the vitamin C. I'm sorry, Kelly. I, got, I want to get a couple more calls, and I'm just running out of time here, so I'm going to let you go. That's great. That's I, I hope great. we helped you Thank out. You. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, let's go to Pam in Michigan. Good morning, Pam. How are you doing? Hello, Ben. Thank you so much for taking my call. Oh, my sure. God, you have saved my life. You have <laughs> saved so many people. I just so appreciate you. Thank and you. I want to listen to this over and over again because you say these things and and. What you say is so true. It does help. Um, you know, I had the third stage kidney disease and I lost 100 pounds. And the connective tissue, what you're talking about, yeah. the bone soup, we got to listen to this, people, because you speak the truth. And that Thank you, Pam. The cream that you sent me the cream because I had a rash for three years. Which cream? The little sample cream when you first started coming out with Omega your, 6 um, healing cream? The Omega 6 healing cream? And um, what you told the man just before me, Jason, that will definitely help him because it helped me. And nothing else would help. And, and I took out the sugar for two years. Okay? These things, the connective tissue, you are spot on. I just so appreciate you. Thank you, and, Pam. Um, That's you awesome. Give me the phone number for, to re-listen to this. Uh, I don't know the phone number, but if you go to brightsideben.com, all the programs are archived or benfuchsarchives.com. Hey, why don't you send an email with your, or send me an ad, your address to ben at ksco.com, and I'll send you out some more of my Omega-6 healing cream. Thanks. for. I really appreciate the, the, uh, um, you the are plug. Amazing. You are totally the best. <laughs> Thank you, Pam. All right. Take care. That was awesome. Thank you so much, Pam. And that's the way we're going to end the program. And I apologize if I left you on hold and had a bunch of calls today. Uh, call back tomorrow. If I left you on hold, call back tomorrow. Tell our call screener. That, uh, that you were left on hold and we'll get you first up. I apologize for doing that. All right, that's all the time we have for today. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Please check out all my Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. And if you want to sign up to join the Brightside Ben team, call 866-735-2470. You and I can do this together. We can help change the world at the most fundamental level, the level of our health. We can do it together. You can make some money at the same time. Call 866-735-2470 and tell them you want to join the Brightside Ben team. Have yourselves a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.